Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose, and today we're going to be talking about the short story Lygia, written by Edgar Allan Poe. Now, before I go into this topic, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment so that the channel can continue to grow. Now, Lygia uh, by Edgar Allan Poe here, very, very uh, interesting. I mean, I guess you could say Lygia or Lygia, uh, but I'm going to call her Lygia um in this summary and analysis so lygia here um is married to the speaker right the speaker of the short story is married to lygia uh, lygia is very dark she has dark eyes dark hair um you know she has a very dark origin about her <clears throat> and lygia is an individual that um the speaker loves, absolutely, positively loves. Uh, he can't get enough of her. Uh, he can't live uh, without her. And they're married. Uh, the marriage is wonderful. Um, the, the speaker, the narrator, it, it, he has some problems. I'm going to be honest with you here. He has some problems uh, because, uh, you know, Lydia pretty much uh, treats him like a god. Uh, because he says that it's almost like she loves me like uh, idolatry. So, in, in of a way, Lygia is kind of like worshipping the speaker, the narrator. So, there's this is some darkness to it. There's some worshipping going on. And, and their, their love is a, it's an intense love. It's like the speaker loves to be worshipped by his wife. So, he's like a king, you know. He's like a king with his marriage in Lygia. Uh, you know, and, and they do love each other and it's, it's a, it's a marriage. It's a love that's closer to idolatry. So you can see how disturbing that is in a little bit. Their, their love is so deep for one another, uh, that even after death, the narrator, uh, is pretty much overwhelmed. Um, you know, basically what happens is that Lygia falls sick. She, she battles the sickness, but she ends up dying. And the, the narrator, you know, he's so distraught. It's, it's so bad for him that he starts taking opium um, to cope with this loss with his wife dying. And, you know, we can understand losing your wife is tough. It's difficult. It's not easy. And so the narrator uh, takes opium and after a couple months, you know, after a period of time of, uh, of being alone, of, you know, being by himself, he gets married again uh, to another woman by the name of Rowena. Rowena. Uh, so Rowena is different from Lygia because Rowena, uh, she's fair-haired, blue-eyed, you know, beautiful woman. Uh, they're both, you know, beautiful, according to the narrator, according to the speaker. Uh, but um, uh, Rowena and Lygia are very different people. Lygia is dark, dark and beautiful, and, and dark eyes, dark hair. Um, and um, Rowena is fair-haired, blue-eyed. Uh, you know, it's it's like you know, Lygia, dark hair, raven, uh, dark hair, black eyes. You know, dark, and and Rowena again, fair-haired, blue eyes. Very different, very different. And so, you know, he gets married to Rowena. He tells us that, um, you know, Rowena's parents just wanted money. They wanted gold. And, you know, the speaker had money, had gold, had a nice, you know, place to start his marriage. And so his parents just, like, the parents of Rowena just gave her up. You know, they took the money. Um, and um, there were haughty, haughty uh, family members. And um, they just wanted some money. And they give their daughter away for marriage. And um, the marriage, the first month of the marriage, the second month of the marriage, it was rocky. Uh, Rowena really didn't love the, the speaker, the narrator. Um, and he was very moody and unhappy towards her. So it wasn't a fruitful, it wasn't a happy marriage. And um, then Rowena, you know, she falls ill uh, and she starts to die. And, um, you know, doctors come and all that kind of stuff and jazz. Uh, but the doctors can't save her life, and she's pretty much, she dies, basically. Uh, and uh, pretty much, there's one night, you know, he's pretty much staying around the body, and out of nowhere, the body rises, and um, it's, uh, 
it's Legia, you know, it's Lydia, um, Legia, um, Legia, you know, however you want to say it here. She, you know, she's, or, or Rowena stands up, or the speaker, the narrator is saying, it's not Rowena, it's not the body, it's not Rowena anymore, because this is a new person that's rising from the ashes of Rowena. Uh, it's Legia, it's Legia. Um, and, you know, the, the story ends with the narrator, the speaker, running to uh, this, this new being, because pretty much we, we kind of confirmed that Rowena is pretty much dying. She's pretty much dead. But after she dies, this is where the story becomes morbid and dark and mysterious and, and, and dark and, and demonic in some sense. Uh, because out of nowhere, the body rises and the, the speaker is saying it's not Rowena that's rising. It might be the body of Rowena, but, but, but it's not. It's really Legia that's come back from the dead. Uh, because Rowena died, but Lygia is rising from the dead. And then, uh, upon inspection, you know, this new person has dark hair, raven, dark hair, and dark eyes. And the speaker is saying, oh, this is this is not Rowena. This is Lygia. This is Lygia. Uh, uh, and um, yeah, that's how the story ends. It's kind of like the love between L Lygia and the speaker uh, it's so intense, you know, the love between the narrator and Lydia is so intense, so passionate, so loving that um, somehow Rowena, Rowena, Rowena dies and her body is given to Lygia, who comes back to life in her body. And, and now L Lygia and uh, the speaker can um, be one again and they can love each other again. They can be one with each other again. And uh, that's how the story ends. Uh, very dark. Again, in terms of deeper meaning analysis, uh, Edgar Allan Poe, scary guy, all right? Scary guy, very terrifying guy. He writes some very dark stories. Here, there, there's two women that he marries. He loves the first one. He hates the second one. And in some way, somehow, his love, not, not Edgar Allan Poe, but the speaker of Edgar Allan Poe's story here, you know, he's, he's in love, well, not in love with two women. He loves one woman. And because he didn't want to be alone after the first wife dies, he marries another one that he hates. And uh, the second one, the same, you know, the first one dies, the second one dies, but the second one's body gets used to bring back the other one from the dead. And uh, the, the, the last one is Lygia. And so Roia dies, but Lygia comes back in the body of... Um, um, Legia comes back in the body of Rowena. I hope that makes sense. I really do. Uh, and so, in the story, it's dark, it's mysterious, it's, it's in a sense, dark magic, you kind of feel like. Uh, so this story is ominous, it's scary, it's trembling, because it's dark. It's so, it's so dark, you know, people coming back to life, and in in, in the woman that, that the narrator loves... She's dark. Her origins are mysterious. Dark hair, dark eyes. It's kind of like death, you know. And um, but the narrator loves Lygia. She he just loves Lygia. He does, he doesn't want anything to do with the fair-haired, blue-eyed woman. He just wants the dark hair, raven hair, dark eye woman, um, the mysterious woman that pretty much treats him like a god. Uh, and um, yeah, I mean. It's the power in terms of deeper meaning analysis. I mean, it's it's the power of love. It's it's darkness, mysteriousness, um, kind of like you know playing between death and life. Um, it's in other way was like Rowena kind of sacrificed. Can we say was Rowena kind of like a sacrifice to bring back Lygia? So that's why in some ways this is a little bit demonic, you know, because uh, Rowena dies, but Lygia somehow comes back to life. Um, and maybe obsession. Listen, it's okay to love somebody. It's okay to love somebody dearly. But the narrator here is obsessed, enamored, crazy for Lygia to the point when, where, where she died, when she died, the, the narrator was taking drugs. He was taking opium to somehow cope, uh, with the death of Lygia. And, and, and the other thing is, is this a true, uh, you know, resurrection of, of Lygia. Is this a true? Because uh, I don't think it is, because we know that the narrator is taking opium. He's on drugs, or, or, or you know, he's, he's on a, a, a mental, um, you know, maybe alt, uh, opium is playing with his mind. Who knows? I mean, it's dead of night, and you're 
Maria dies and somehow you see something rising from the bed and you think it's your dead wife. And so there's there's a lot of um, parts to this short story. Um, is it is it the narrator's just mind just playing with him? Or is his wife really truly coming back to life from the dead? So there's a lot of things to, to think about here. Uh, but, but this short story is surrounded in mystery and darkness uh, in uh, um, you know a type of love that is passionate, but but sometimes just just obsessive, and and pro quite damaging to the point where you know it's 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 dark. It's too dark. Um, so yeah, in terms of, of deeper meaning, that's what you're getting from this short story. Edgar Allan Poe here. It's a love. It's a, it's a two sides of love. I mean, some people love you know um, youthful, happy, bright women. Uh, but but some people are obsessed with the dark, the mysterious, the unknown, the the dark eye um, mysteries of the world, and, and and this is very fascinating here with this short story. Uh, but uh, that's pretty much what happens within it. Uh, that's what's going on within this short story, uh, and um, it's it's quite chilling, quite chilling. Um, so please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video.